Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabramian, visited the southern regions of Artsakh. Interview with Lydia Markosian, representative of Western Armenia to the United Nations. Arai Karutunyan met with the commanders of the militants. European Parliament voted to cut financial support to Turkey. Pompeo calls Turkey's recent actions very aggressive. And Karen Beku committed genocide in Artsakh. It was offered to establish the International Tribunal. Sites of Western Armenia, the mysterious have you castle of Sebastia. Within the framework of his visit to Artsakh, President Armena Kabramian visited the southern defense regions, talked to the officers and soldiers, visited a military unit which consisted of 400 soldiers and only 60 survived. They told what defensive battles they fought and how they took refuge in the forest and mountains and managed to escape. Despite the heavy losses, their fighting spirit was high. Even now, when they have to leave the positions to the peacekeepers, they refuse to step down. They are ready to continue the fight. According to the President, of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Kabramian, the boys faced many difficulties during these three months, which made them stronger, and now it is more necessary to support them spiritually, especially by emphasizing the role of the freedom fighters of the 90s in this issue, who should encourage them through talks with them. Lydia Markosian, the representative of the Republic of Western Armenia to the United Nations, spoke about the Armenian issue, expressed the position of the Republic of Western Armenia on the Artsakh question. She presented her vision for the settlement of this aggressive war, noted that the struggle continues and Armenians must stand up for their rights. International laws must work. Because Armenians respect international law and almost always find themselves in an unjust situation. You can watch the interview on our official YouTube channel. The President of the Republic of Artsakh, Arai Karutunyan, met with the commanders of the militants and discussed the reasons for handing over Shushi. The President of Artsakh presented the situation created due to the war, the problems facing the army and the reasons why the ceasefire was signed under these conditions. The participants agreed that their fight is not over. It is necessary to draw conclusions from the current situation and work towards building a strong army. Everyone should have a contribution in this vital issue. Suran Shahumyan also participated participated in the meeting along with many other commanders. The European Parliament has approved a proposal by Greek member of European Parliament Nikos Andriolakis to suspend funding for the Turkish government, Greek reporter reports. We are suspending funding from the governments of Turkey, Azerbaijan and Belarus because the necessary condition for receiving European funding is the protection of human rights, the rule of law and international law, Andriolakis said in a speech to Parliament. The amendment was proposed by Nikos Andrelakis for the Socialist and Democrats group and was voted in by the majority. It is noted that in the five-year period between 2014 and 2018, Turkey received a total of approximately 3.6 billion euro, a sum that dropped dramatically in 2019 and 2020 when Ankara received only 160 million euro. The US administration and Europe need to work jointly in addressing actions led by Turkey in the Middle East over the past few months, Secretary of the State Mike Pompeo told French daily newspaper Le Figaro reports Reuters. French President Emmanuel Macron and I agreed that Turkey's recent actions have been very aggressive, Pompeo said, citing Turkey's recent support to Azerbaijan in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, as well as military moves in Libya and the Mediterranean. Europe and the US must work together to convince Erdogan that such actions are not in the interest of his people, Pompeo said, referring to Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan. European Parliament member Ivan David confirms that the Azerbaijani and Turkish armies committed genocide in Nagorno-Karabakh by presenting evidence. A unique Muslim alliance has been formed against Armenia. Russia stopped the war without fighting with any of its participants. A genocide was committed. I saw a video made by the Azerbaijani soldiers who killed civilians and prisoners. Azerbaijanis have also destroyed civilian infrastructure, which is a war crime, as war can only be waged against the enemy's armed forces, mentioned the European Parliament member Ivan David. Havyuk Fortress, located 30 kilometers from the center of the town of Sebastia, Western Armenia, attracts the attention of many people. The castle is believed to have been used by the Hittites and Byzantines. In the Byzantine period, it was used as a reservoir. This mystery arouses the interest of the citizens. The destruction of the castle by the treasure hunters caused a great reaction among the locals. 350 stairs go down where there are four rooms. Another feature of this place is that the entrance door is not visible from any part. It is not yet known whether it was used as a shelter or as a lookout point in the past. 
Now let us represent your attention a song by Komitas Oror. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.